Hey guys, it's the Angry Waffle One here, and kind of late in the season, and I meant to do this before, but I just never got around to it. But here is my NFL Week 13 predictions. I hope to do this like for the rest of the NFL season through the playoffs, but yeah. But kicking it off, a uh, Philadelphia versus Seattle. Um, Philadelphia has a lot of injuries, but they, I think I see them winning 24-13 to 13 over Seattle. Seattle's having a rough year. But now, to the Browns versus the Ravens, I see Baltimore coming out on top 27-13. Browns just haven't had a good year on the ground, and... They just have been struggling all year getting points on the board in the first quarter and the second half. So that, that takes us to Tennessee versus Buffalo. Um, I think Tennessee's just barely going to squeak this one out, 17-13. Um, Kansas City versus Chicago. Kansas City's, I think they have a chance, but they have a really tough schedule this year, but they have... They could, uh, hopefully they can turn around, but they, their schedule's pretty tough, so they've been losing more than winning, and, but I see Chicago coming out on top in this game, 24-17, and Oakland versus Miami, uh, Miami just dropped one after going winless the whole season, then winning three in a row, but, um, so I see, um, Oakland winning that one, 21-16, and now the Broncos versus the Vikings, I see Denver just coming out on top, 24-17, Tim, Tim Tebow's been, um, heating up, and hopefully he'll become a good quarterback years to come, so that Denver can have a good quarterback, but the winless Indianapolis Colts square off against the New England Patriots, I see the Patriots winning that one, 27-10, and the game to watch, one of the three game to watch this week is Cincinnati versus Pittsburgh, and I think this is going to be a really good matchup, Cincinnati is just exactly like the Browns, but on a better no, because they can score in the clutch, and I see them just barely falling to Pittsburgh 24-23. But this is also an important game because this is because this can um even out if if Cincinnati beats Pittsburgh, so they could um tied in the AFC North, which is a tough division right now, probably the toughest in the NFL. But then we go to Carolina versus Tampa Bay. Uh, I see Tampa Bay just winning this one, 17-13. Nothing really much to say. Then New York Jets versus Washington Redskins. I see New York winning this one, 21-10. Uh, nothing much to say. But the second out of the third games to watch this week is Atlanta versus Houston. Two really good teams duking it out in this one. And I see Houston winning it by a field goal, 27-24. Then the undefeated Green Bay Packers versus the New York Jets. I mean, the, sorry, the New York Giants. And I see them uh, beating them out by 20. The Packers are just unstoppable this year. I don't, I don't know. I think they'll eventually pick up their first loss, but I don't think it'll be in this game. 37-17 final score. And Dallas versus Arizona. Dallas has been having an average year, but I think they'll still beat Arizona. 24-13. St. Louis Rams versus the San Francisco 49ers. The Niners are looking good this year, and I see them winning this one 24-10. And the last game to watch this week is... Detroit versus New Orleans. They this should be a good one. 
as Detroit has started to fall off the wagon, but hopefully they can bring it back and win against New Orleans here. And I, but I see New Orleans beating them 17 to 20. And the final game for this week, uh, San Diego versus Jacksonville. I see Jacksonville getting a little bit back on track and beating the Chargers 17-13. So, um, leave a comment down below what you think, and I will see you next week and more videos to come.